on tonight. to the Melbourne Derby in the A-League in a couple of weeks' time, but this FFA Cup tie is underway. This looks as though he's starting in midfield, and he won the ball well there in that area of the pitch. Bruce Kamau then take him away, at least initially, from Tarek Elrich, and in towards Jamie McLaren, who just couldn't crane the neck muscles enough to direct that goalwards, but that was super work by the Englishman on the left. Really? Clear of Dylan McGowan, who was left trailing in his wake. Credit to McGowan, he a flag. City could be in here. Berongay trying to tee up a teammate. There. He just killed that ball as it went over the touchline, stone dead. Cardiff, there's his new coach, Eric Mombarts, with the Roy Orbison style. Come out, that should be the goalkeepers. And again, useful cross, McLaren, what a save, Lopa. Point blank range. And the Swiss stopper was able to push it over. In fairness, it was straight at him from McLaren. By Cordier, and Noon is in, crosses Nazarene. Try to take it first time with the left boot and all champions 20 odd years ago. Pazan is coming out to claim this one. Bridge needed every one of those centimeters there. Georgievsky then missed his kick. Lokar trying. Ball stayed in play. Should be a goal here. It is a howler from Daniel Lopar. Craig New nets it. Stretched. I don't think there's a claim that the ball went out. Lopar asks the question, Noon swoops, a and not the error necessarily, but a regular... Quickly take a corner, Berrogay on the volley, didn't catch it right, and Nazarene again misses his kick. That's here, Kwame Yaboa, his first touch wasn't the best, but he recovered well enough to find the angle for the shot. Unfortunately for the Wanderers, couldn't keep it down. Time, steered away for now by McGowan. Galloway wonderful by Jamie McLaren the improvisation if you don't mind City are too clear just before the break and Jamie McLaren now has four goals in three cup ties in 2019 super stuff by City for the back line getting ripped to pieces this is the tail could they pull one back before the break still a chance here your boa and it brought the situation under control there goes the half-time whistle and he's at the interval melbourne city two western sydney wanderers nil sometimes that can confuse players what are we committed to here so he's for georgievsky oh, it's a clever ball by georgievsky mohammed adam good chance for the wanderers couldn't take it the youngster in the driving seat, Simon. Nazarene, it's palmed away by Lopar. You join us at the moment. Evaded Metcalf, but not McLaren. Craig Noon just couldn't quite reel the ball in, the Englishman. But he's had a good night. Two in the box, one of whom is McLaren, who lays it off. And Nazarene continues his. Less. Could be a chance here for the Wanderers. Adam, and now Bruce Kamau. Good save for Zach. Clutch of youngsters on the bench. Oh, Majewski, if he could have reeled that. Yeah, there might have been a hand there used. Jamie McLaren's in for a third. Lopar ensures he doesn't get it. But I think there would have been consternation for the Wanderers had that one. And McGowan's mistake could let in Jamie McLaren here. McLaren! Well, it was so awkward to finish that. But I tell you what, he had an awful lot to do there, Jamie Mc... Good position, this, though. Keep by Berongay, but he's not made. still got a piece of the ball. Adam trying to weave his way through. Good chance that for the youngster. Mohamed Adam firing over the top. This is the to find Craig Noon inside the Wanderers penalty area. Looking to curl it. What a goal. It's a double for the Englishman. Boom, he says. Boom indeed. Melbourne City are heading for the Cup semi-finals. And that finish was a pitch by Craig Noon. Held up by Lopar. Here's Craig Noon on a hat-trick, of course, Connor Metcalf.